Amputation is sometimes recommended for extensive trauma, nerve damage, or cancer of the leg. While the decision for amputation is often a difficult one and emotional for most pet owners, amputation can provide a quality of life that wouldn't be possible without amputation. We've created this video in order to show you what to expect before, during, and after amputation in order that you can make a better decision for your own companion. Meet Berkeley and his owners, Kelly and John. Berkeley is one of over 250 patients we help every year here at the Animal Cancer Center through amputation. For Berkeley, who needs a front limb amputation, we remove the whole limb all the way up to and including the shoulder blade. In the case of a hind limb amputation, we would remove the limb all the way up to the hip joint. The reason for this is because most animals do much better without an amputation stump. I'm now going to show you what to expect the day you arrive for surgery. When you first arrive, you'll check in at the reception desk. There they'll give you some information and some paperwork to sign while you're waiting for your student and clinician to come visit you. Once your visit begins, one of our students or nurses will take you back to an exam room. At that time, you'll have a temperature, a weight, and a general physical exam performed by the student. After the students gathered all the essential information, they'll go back and talk with a doctor. They'll discuss with the doctor all the things that they learned about you and your pet. At that time, the doctor will come in, talk to you about the procedure, and perform their own examination of your pet. Once your pet is taken from you down to the OR area, he'll be given a medication to make him sleepy and relax. This is called a pre-anesthetic medication. Right after that, as soon as he's sleepy and relaxed, his anesthesia will begin. The first thing that happens is they get a catheter placed in a vein, and then a drug is given to put them under anesthesia. A tube is placed into the trachea or windpipe in order to help them breathe and to deliver gas anesthesia so that they can stay asleep throughout the procedure and remain comfortable. Following this, a technician will shave the hair from the limb that's going to be amputated. There is a lot of shaving involved. Under anesthesia, we usually perform a nerve block. This is to increase patient comfort during the surgery and decrease the amount of anesthesia needed to keep them comfortable. During surgery, there'll be a team of people in the operating room. Some people will be monitoring the anesthesia, ensuring that everything is going well, and monitoring heart rate, blood pressure, and other parameters. The rest of the team will be involved with the surgery. Within about 30 minutes of surgery, we roll into the critical care unit. That's where your pet will be woken up from anesthesia. Even before they awake from anesthesia, we already start pain medication. We believe that aggressive pain management is the key to successful and quick recovery from amputation. In order to ensure that your pet is comfortable when they wake up and not afraid, people stay with them throughout the waking up process. This involves warm blankets and lots of petting. Once your pet wakes up from anesthesia, they're monitored carefully to ensure that they're comfortable and that they can rest. About six or seven hours after surgery, we try to get them up so they can go outside for the first time. The next day, you'll receive a phone call early in the morning with a progress update. When you come in to pick up your animal, you'll first have a conference with the doctors and the nursing team that took care of him or her throughout the evening. They'll explain everything you need to know about what to do in the first few days after you get him home and about any medications you may need to give. At that time, we'll have a chance to then reunite you with your pet and you'll be able to focus fully on greeting him or her after the surgery. For the most part, some swelling and bruising is expected after surgery. The bruising actually increases the first few days after surgery, and that's normal, but it should begin to decrease over time. Your pet should gradually begin to return to its regular activity level over the next two weeks. If you have any questions during this initial post-operative period, there is always someone here 24 hours a day to answer your questions. In approximately two weeks, you'll make an appointment to bring your dog back to have the stitches removed and have the area reevaluated. It takes about two weeks for their normal energy level to return, but in the months following, your dog will discover all the things they still can do even though they only have three legs. You'll be amazed at how active and how happy and how pain-free they can be. I hope this has been helpful. If you do have any further questions, your medical team is happy to answer them. I hope you enjoy your experience here at the Animal Cancer Center and thanks so much for watching.